I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we return to our data engineering playlist and we're gonna look at how to do a query where we put a row number down the side of our query uh, so that we have an idea of you know, how things are ordered or what the, what the row number is for each of the items in our query. And the question is, how can we add that uh, in a simple way? And also, uh, how can we group things together and have the row order of our query within those groups as well? And to do that, we're going to use row number over and we're also going to use partition by and uh, so let's get to it need help or coaching on your project make sure to check out my patreon the link is in the description okay so i'm using sql server management studio here and i'm just going to open the, the uh, top thousand records for uh, this uh, part um, table that i have this fictional part table and uh, it only has 16 rows in it but it does have uh, some parts in it and we can demonstrate how to add a row number uh, to our query, you know, starting from one. And, uh, and we can do that. You can see it's got part numbers and it has a parent part number. So you can see, you know, um, you know that there's uh, some parts belong to other assemblies and things like that. So it's a self-joining table. And uh, we're gonna use that as part of our uh, demonstration here for uh, adding a row number and uh, what I could do is I could you know just select the part number from that manufacturing table and I could order by uh, which you're probably familiar with I could order by the part number and if I ran that you can see you know it'll put the part numbers in order AA11 and then AAB111 etc etc and it puts them all in, in uh, alphabetical order uh, but what I want to see is I want to see, you know, like we have down the left hand side there, even though that's part of the, that's actually, you know, the one, two, three, four, five you see there is not part of the query. That's actually part of the, you know, the results window. Um, but, uh, what we can do is, um, we'll add a field called part order. Um, you can see if I wanted to add it there, kind of similar to what you see in the results window but I actually want it as part of my query. Well, uh, in order to do that, what I could do is, um, you know, I can take this, uh, first of all, I'll take out this order by from here. I'll cut that because we're going to use it again. And we're going to add another field um, and we're going to use row underscore number uh, for that. And then uh, when you use row underscore number, uh, you need to use the over, um, it also uses the, the keyword over, and then you, you need to put in the, the order by inside of the over. And, and then we'll give that a, a part name, or, or I guess part order, we'll call it, um, like we had uh, before there. So now we've got this, this field using row number over, and then order by part number, and we'll call that part order. And if I run that, uh, then you can see now I've got this nice uh, row, or pardon me, column, that has our, our uh, output um, in order of the part number, and that's exactly what we wanted to see. And, you know, if I wanted to, you know, do that for another field, a different field, say, uh, well, I can do that as well. So I can take this, uh, you know, this row here, um, and I can copy and paste that. And what I'll do in this case is I'll uh, change the, uh, the, the, the column that I'm going to use. I'll, I'll use part name instead. And, you know, if I just ran that, well, that's not going to make any sense um, because I need to also order by the part number. So this is ordering by the part number uh, used for our column. So you need to make sure that you put in the part, uh, part name as well so that it actually orders it by the part name and um, and then it will also give the uh, numbering the row number according to the part name so that's that's um that's a really um, uh, important thing that you need to do and uh, we can also uh, you know if i wanted to what if i wanted to do the parent part number um, well i could do that too so i could do uh, you know I could take the parent part number 
and that's going to have duplicates, of course, because um, it's going to, you know, uh, there's going to be uh, multiple times that the parent part number is used uh, while, you know, all of its children are there. So we can go, uh, you know, we could just go select parent part number, part number, and then order by the, those. And you can see here we go, it's a one, one, uh, one uh, with AAA and AAB, so that's going to be one and two. And then this one is AAB, so it'll be one and two. And those are grouped, kind of grouped together because of the, the ordering. And so, uh, so what if we wanted to say, you know, uh, I want to see the order within the parent uh, because that's very important too. So you'll probably do that all the time in queries uh, once you sort of learn how to do this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, leave our parent part number and part number fields in there, and then we'll use our row number over again, uh, just like we uh, did there. And, you know, just like we did before, we'll, you know, put our order by in there, and we're going to order by um, the the parent part number because um, we want to order it by the parent part number so that those are sort of grouped together and if I just run that well it doesn't kind of make sense because we still have you know one two three four five all the way to nine but we don't have the uh, you know the breakup of the ordering that we wanted so I'll add the part order name to that field and uh, and so uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, first of all, I'll shorten this <laughs> because we're we're kind of turning into spaghetti SQL there. Uh, so uh, then, what we need to do then is we're going to add the partition by, um, and the partition by is going to uh, tell our you know our uh, function here that it's going to um, it's going to partition by that field, the parent part number field, and and then uh, and then order by the part number within that, and so then it's going to give us our one, you know, one, two, three, and then it'll restart numbering when it hits the next parent part number. Uh, then it'll go one, two, three, or whatever. There might not be that many in this particular table because there's very few rows, but I think it'll show some. So let's just take that and run it, and as you can see, yeah, there we go. So we got one, and then those two that I showed you. This one has two, uh, two children under the parent, so it goes one, two, and this one also has two children under the parent, and it goes one, two, and so on and so forth. So if you you could have you know up to 100 or whatever, um, it, it would number them within each group, and that's exactly what we want to see. And that is how you can add a row number to your query in SQL. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to do a row number in your query. If you like what you saw today, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, make sure to click the bell when you see the bell, and put any questions or comments in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.